one cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW. Rubber City Wrestling. Presents to you. RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Hello and welcome to another edition of RCW Global. I am Rick Lieb, your host, of course, alongside with Ricky Williams. And we already got GDT versus... Bruto El Macho, and there's nothing macho about him as our winner. <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even, like, finish your intro. That's uh... All right. Our winner, GDT, you're right. So we got a great show lined up. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events Sunday, June 25th. Watch as we crown a new World Super Heavyweight Champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Lee. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio, 44312, or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Global. Here we got the Hawaiian Lions ranked number four in a tag team match against Brandon Miller and the, uh, Kevin Phoenix. Ranked, what was it, number nine? I think so, yeah. Okay, so we actually have a good match here oh, yeah. that should take more than the uh, introduction to uh, take place. Yeah, that was quick, my goodness. Like, he, didn't even, he didn't even finish off anything. He was just done after that. Yep. And then uh, we got uh, right now Draven Post teaming, or tagging. Or tagging. Draven Post, well, now he's tagging up with Lionheart, but uh, I was going to say uh, locking up. Kevin Phoenix now. Lionheart has the headlock on Kevin Phoenix. Ooh, nice little hip or a headlock takeover. Um, now he's got him down with a side headlock on the ground. <coughs> Kevin Phoenix gonna try and roll him into a pin. We got up one. And Lionheart kicked out of it. Oh, he poked him in the eye. I like that. Then he hits him with an elbow. Tags up. Hits him on the mat. I would have held him up for a double team move. That's a rookie mistake there by Kevin Phoenix. Uh, look at that, Brandon Miller not even giving him a chance to move out his head. He throws him in and just quickly dies. Look at the look at the speed of these guys. Draven just like, shocked and looked like, like goodness, he's just Brandon Miller makes Draven. <laughs> he tags Draven in. That's genius. That is genius. Oh, yeah. For the lesser man, of course. And 
I know you're probably going to get mad at me for calling Draven the lesser man, but you have to understand, he's still new, and you've got somebody... Okay, now look, Brandon Miller over there with that... Oh, my gosh, choke! It's a choke! Look at him roll right out of it and go back in. So a minute, smart move by Brandon Miller. Now he's locking it into a form of a choke. So it's a fair, it's a rear naked choke, which is actually fair because it's on the chin. It's not actually a choke hold. And there he gets punched in the mouth. And oh my goodness, he dropped the chin on the shoulder. And oh, wow. nice by Draven. Look at him. I got hit in the face with one of those before. Yeah. And I had to kick his ass afterwards for it. Goodness. Uh, yeah. Just pick up a Brandon Miller though. And Brandon Miller picks out. Kevin Phoenix with a nice stop for a tag up. And Lionheart, I don't know what he was doing there. I would have tried reaching in and at least slapped him on the shoulder. Got a nice little free tag at that. Oh, too much time. Okay, he got him anyway. He got him anyway. And he kicks out. I, I'm not a big fan of going off one rope and then off the other. I, if you're going to do something, do it quick. You see me when I do my knee drop, one rope hit. You see me when I do my land double drop, one rope hit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. He chopped him. That was funny. <laughs> All right, Brandon Miller back in. DDT! Oh, this could be it right here. One, 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 two. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure had the referee been in position, that could have been the end of the match. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty surprised by Driven kicking out of that one. I thought yeah, it was over. well, the referee took 10 minutes just to get to his spot. Nice, beautiful su suplex right there. Suplex. And. Brandon right, Miller kind of playing his, he's, it, yeah, he's got his leg over top of his head. You know, I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, oh he smart by Draven. One, One, two. two. Oh, he just got up. Just got it up. Oh, he had the rope. I was going to say, I didn't know if he got it up. He got yeah, the rope. Wow. All right, smart move. Yeah, now they're both, for a tag. both guys trying to reach for this tag. We got a hot tag coming Lionheart. in for Ryan Hart. Hot tag coming in for Kevin Phoenix. Oh, Lionheart. Lionheart. Double fist to the chest, knocks him down. There goes another. Double fist. That's the Polish hammer right there. Yeah. Made famous by Ivan Polish Power Punch. Oh, that was a duck's and oh, nice. Hits him with another. That, that was all like a fine burrito. <laughs> Shades right there of uh, Manny, Manny Fernandez, the lazy bull. And now we've got the cross face on. And he's got this one tight. Oh, this, is, this is not what the Oh, my goodness. Phoenix, I yeah. think he's tapped out. Yeah. Well, yeah I, I, you know, these people got to understand. Okay, he's going to quit. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna say, I was going to say, there's no say tap outs in RCW. Yeah. you got to say you quit. So he did say and he quit. Good win by the Hawaiian and then, What is going on here? Look at this. Filthy. Filthy. What? What are you talking about? I didn't see a thing. So. Of course. Now you're going to play it off like you don't see a thing? I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Filthy. That guy didn't do anything to him. He, he, yeah, anyway, no. yeah, J.L. Watson, what a disgusting act. Anyway, we're going to go ahead, take a commercial break. When we come back, hopefully we can have some decency. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events. Sunday, June 25th, watch as we crown a new world super heavyweight champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Let me help you out of your chair, Grandma. Grandma. Hey, what up? This is Jay Music. Hey, man, it's Randall from Clerks. And you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Rubber City, isn't that what they call James Franco's bedroom? Guy orders condoms by the pallet. Snoogans. All right, welcome back to the main event of the evening. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, welcome back to RCW Global. DJ Square taking on the Battle Creek Brute, Myers McBain. I don't 
don't think I ever Myers heard of Myers McBain. Him. Oh, yeah, he's wrestled many times. There he is. But now, guess what? He's got a manager. Just uh, signed with Terrence Knight. I was wondering why Terrence Knight was out there watching a couple of his matches. Right. And now I see why. Hey, Terrence Knight. Now I see why. Woohoo. Can't wait to see Terrence Knight interfere in this match as well again. You know, like he always does. All right. Hey, listen. Can I point, can I point out the obvious here? There's a crowd of people, you just saw it, but then the the, uh, the $5 extra chairs, the chairs that are $5 more, empty. Yeah. What a bunch of, it, it, it's like I called it, I called, I had to go out there and explain, and you'll see this, I believe next week they show my match. I had to explain to them that uh, there's a difference between the welfare seats and the seats where people actually have jobs. <laughs> Look at that, that's crazy. So we had probably about 10 people with jobs that were in the audience. The rest of them, look, look, look at the crowd out there. You can see it. And then all of a sudden, here goes DJ squared back from the military. He's got Alexander Crowley managing him. That's awesome. I love that. I'm, now, really I don't happy to see I'm curious squared about back. this little thing. I mean, he came, I, I saw him coming out and he asked Crowley to manage him for this match. I mean, I don't know if it was because of the fact that he wasn't alone out there. It's just so that Terrence Knight doesn't interfere. Okay, so probably isn't a manager. He's just making sure that his guy is safe. Pretty much. Look at that. DJ Squared has been in Japan with the United States Navy. So, he went from punk kid when he first started out to now Navy, our military, Army, our Navy veteran. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited to see uh, what he can do now. It's been a minute from seeing DJ Squares. Well, we do want to thank him for his service. Yes, thank you. Um, but I ain't going to lie. I'm cheering on my brigade on this one. If I had to pick one. Well, I'm cheering on DJ Squares. So. Of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> of course you are. Once I saw Alexander Crowley out there, I knew it. And once I saw my boy George Davis out there, and my, my, my guy Terrence Knight. Oh, yeah, your guy, all right. Oh, man. Well, man locked up, but I guess. Uh, there it goes. Yeah. Very even match, honestly. Yes. So I like I like this match. And, you know, it's. Oh, poke to the eye. Smart move. You know, if your guy's not looking, or if your guy can't see, chances are he can't hit you. Right. Stops to the uh, kidney area. I, I recommend that. And then, yeah, working the leg. He's working everything. It's a young, young mistake. I would go with one side and keep with it. Powerful, powerful though, hit to the spine. Yes, it was. And now, returning the favor to the front. Upper rib, upper rib cage. And then, oh, nice job. Well, that's a uh, that's, uh, welcome back. Yeah, I DJ guess, Squared. Uh, now, DJ Squared, he's oh. he's Navy ready. He tried to reach it. He tried to block it up high and got it low. That's what happens. Now, what is this? Um, I'm starting to wonder, is this a four quarters match? I remember. Uh, no, because he's a got a pin. He's going for a pin, so it's not a four quarters match. He was just making sure everybody from every side saw it. Yeah. Now he throws him outside. Oh, look, there's Crowley the money seats. There. Back to the money seats. Crowley's over there, but he's not interfering. Oh, smart man. He has okay. You know, I was worried about it because, you know, it's Crowley. What? He doesn't interfere or anything. Listen, anybody with the name Alexander Crowley is oh, going to cheat. Oh, wow. Just turn into the turn. George Davis is just George looking. Davis, get away no, from him. No, he's just looking at him, no. see if he's okay. He's get not touching him. Get away from him, George Davis. Look, he's not touching him. Leave him alone. He's allowed to, he's allowed to, he's allowed to look at him. He just showed him what the Crowley, look. Crowley didn't look at him. <laughs> yes, he did. No, he didn't. That's fake news. No, he looked away. Oh, no, he walked away. George Davis didn't walk away, but they both looked at him. One, two, three. Two. What? I'm pretty sure it's all three. No, you're seeing things, I guess. Ugh, that's nonsense. All right, well, it looks like now DJ Square. Oh, wow. Goodness. Look at Turbo for a... Uh... What's his name again? I forgot his name. I'm sorry. Mars McBain. He's, and that's McBain. the Battle Creek group. Just remember that. One, two, three. Two count again. I was joking. 
I just wanted to see if you would go ahead and say that I got it. But he's gonna have to do a lot more because your boy DJ Square was covering him up. Ah, you weren't even paying attention to who had the pin. You're too busy worrying about what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to think I've ever seen McBain before. I mean, this is just new to me. How's McBain? No, well, he didn't have the 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 pain on his face. That's probably what's That's throwing what me it off. Is. Yeah, of course it's what's throwing you off. Now, I don't know why he's wearing a shirt in the ring. Maybe New Ink doesn't thought, want to get I thought, it. I thought, I thought you were against that. Well, I am against it because it's kind of yard tartary, but I believe he might have got New Ink and he doesn't want to get it hurt. But that's like You're not allowed to have ink on the DJ Square up. Got him up. Oh, Smoe and Drop. Oh, goodness. Smoe and Drop. One. One, two, two three. Wow. Ah, look at that. A real three count. Your winner, Myers McBain. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'll give him props. I'll give him props. All right. But I'm glad to see DJ, DJ Square back. Hopefully he can bounce back. <laughs> well, yeah, he better bounce back because he's got a shot at J.L. Watson's belt tonight. We've got a commercial break. We'll talk about it in a minute. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events Sunday, June 25th. Watch as we crown a new World Super Heavyweight Champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with Bike Night with Scars and Straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see Title for Title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gurufilms.1. Dot 420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to our main event of the evening for the World Super Heavyweight Championship. One fall 60 minute time limit, Deadly Danny England versus Satan's Destroyer, Schizo, a.k.a. Joshua Cortez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is oh, this is going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it I is. Yes, excited. it is. And I was here live for this one. So, yeah, I got to see that. I was actually doing the live commentary for this one. So not only am I doing live commentary, now I'm doing the dub over commentary for it. You have not seen this event because you had to work your other job. Yes, I did. Oh, that's great. So do you know who won? Did they tell you who won? Or? Nope, not okay, yet. Good. So. I'm not saying a word then. I'm not saying a word. I just know that Danny England's a cheater. That's all I can tell you. What? How's he a cheater? Come what? on, man. You always say he's a cheater anyway. You just don't no, like No, because he's a hardcore wrestler. All hardcore wrestlers are cheaters. Oh, I'm just giving my God. That's not even a spoil alert. That does not make any sense. Oh, my goodness. Don't act like back in your day, you didn't use a freaking platter on your wrestling. Whoa! Whoa, I Mr. sold Mrs. autograph platters. Yeah, autograph that was platters it. that you used. No, they got dented because people were banging them on people's heads for some reason. It hurt. <laughs> you're, so, oh, you're so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. <coughs> oh, <that's not. coughs> yeah, I can't talk. It's probably that okay. bullshit in your mouth. That's oh, crazy. my goodness. Oh. Our BS, sorry. Yeah, we're going to have to bleep you oh, out or something. Expressions of eyes on that one. My fault, right. Look at that. Only. Look at that. There's the chicken. They're, There's Animal. Yeah. I will admit, happy to see Animal. Uh, Me and Animal walking him back. There is Look at him. Schizo. Look at him come out there. Schizo. Even though I might not like Schizo, this dude, dude, he freaks me out. Yeah, I, I mean, would never want to face him. Well, right listen, now. Josh has two different personalities. Of course, when he wrestles tag teams, he's Josh Cortez. But when he wrestles solo, he's Schizo. Who would you and rather face? You rather face his tag team self or his singles? Uh, neither. He weighs 400 pounds. It's just a lot of weight for me to have. I feel like Schizo's even more scarier. Though. 
Schizo is almost double my weight. Do you understand that? Yeah, that's crazy. Now, speaking of which, we were talking about tonight. I mean, as this is airing, there will be an event going on live tonight. So hopefully everybody's watching this on the replay. Right. But if you're not, you are right now missing a great event starring myself in the main event taking on Danny England in a dog collar chain match. Now, Danny England might be bigger than me. He might bench press 450 pounds. He might like to throw. He might be able to throw me around, which I guarantee I'm going to definitely get my ass handled in this match. But what Danny England doesn't understand is I have never lost a dog collar chain match, whereas he has never won one. Yeah, and you have some great history of dog collar chain matches, too. I mean, my match against... Uh, Carnage, everybody feels this is one of the best matches oh, that was a great match. of all time in my career, and I can agree it was really uh, very. It was brutal. That son of a bitch hung me. He threw me over the rope and I hung might me. I have to bleep you out too. I mean, sorry, you're right. <laughs> that sob hung me. Yes. Happy. Oh, Josh with a knee. Now oh, Josh wow. is 400 pounds. Danny is a little under 300 pounds, like 263. There's a there's a big weight difference in this one right here. Yeah, if you guys course, are, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys need to subscribe, man. There's gonna be a lot of good matches coming up. So oh yeah, too. I'm excited. I'm not a fan of this hardcore crap that's about to come up, man. But it's a it's a hardcore show going on tonight. As we mentioned, DJ Squared gets a shot at JL Watson for the All American City Championship. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. <clears throat> so that that should be interesting. Oh man, um, that's gonna be fun. I, I, now down is Danny England. He's outside yeah. right now. Danny England oh. definitely filling this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to schizo now. Man, this is why I do not want to wrestle schizo, man. He's just... He, he is just dead on sight on his opponents. It's scary. I'll tell you what, aside from my own match, the uh, one match that intrigues me tonight and, uh, the most is a non-sanctioned match. It's actually pro probably, at this time, it should be over um, <clears throat> because, you know, this is airing Thursday at 8 p.m. unless they air it early, which I'm going to suggest they may maybe air this early, like 5 o'clock. Right. Um, but the match that is intriguing to me is Spike St. James, who is not even signed with RCW. Right. But when he was basically let go from RCW, he was still the light heavyweight champion. He was. He just, I, I don't know what it was, because I was in, actually, I was in uh, Myrtle Beach at the time that this happened. But uh, I guess they couldn't come to terms on his match with Alexander Crowley. So they just gave Crowley a, a number one contenders match against Brendan Martell and the winner of that became the uh, light heavyweight champion. So Crowley has been light heavyweight champion, but he never beat the, the former light heavyweight champion. So in a non-sanctioned match, it's not a it's not for the light heavyweight championship, as everybody knows. I think it's just to prove a point. It's, though, yeah, right? basically, it's just who 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 deserves to be champion match tonight in a tables match. Alexander Crowley will be taken on uh, Spike St. James, and who's going by his government name is Spike Ronan now. He's not even using the St. James. Wow. He's like, I'm, I'm not using my real name. I'm not going to lie. I, I was, I'm i very excited to see that as well. Shoot. I mean, that's... That's, that's like the match I've always wanted to see, but never that's got. That's a dream match. It really right is. It's one that I want to watch. Yes. You want to still let me do commentary. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, now we got... <sighs> a beautiful sleeper hold applied yeah, right now by Josh Cortez. Danny Ingle is not in a good position right now. This is not looking good for him. No. Uh, another match that I... Oh! Another intriguing match. Bunk House Stampede. Now, the last time we did one of these, it was in Yeti's honor. So, uh, this one here. This one here. Yes, rest in peace, Yeti, as always. And, um... This one here is uh, just a regular bunkhouse stampede, no cage involved, and it is definitely one of those things that you 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 want to see somebody just. It's violent. To put it this way: you're bringing in a one weapon of your choice, and you're just there to hurt anybody in your path. So I'm gonna definitely have an interest in watching that one as well. So who's gonna be in that one? 
Oh, that one there? I, I'm not sure who all is in it because it's an invitation. Basically, everybody's inv invited to be in it. You could come out of retirement and go into it right then and there if you wanted to. Oh, but you have to. What is he doing? Yeah, I gotta work. Oh, he's. What get up! Get, get up, Josh! Wait, what is going on here? That's ridiculous. Out of nowhere, down goes freaking schizo. What? Uh, Danny Angle, you might want to. And then, oh, and that freaking elbow drop. I don't... What, another what is wrong one. With Josh? I don't know. You see, this one here, I don't understand. Wait, wait, is he is he playing possum? I don't know what he's doing. It looked like he was enjoying it. I think he... Yeah. No, he's not enjoying it. Look at the face. Danny is definitely putting some... Why, why did he just drop down? I'm trying to figure out... Well, I'm wondering if it's a delayed reaction. You know what I'm saying? Danny could have hit him with something. He could have walked in, and then all of a sudden, it just it just worked on him. Uh, now he's talking to his uh, inner inner ghost and said, "This is fun." Oh goodness! Oh, so he was. I feel like he was. No, no, no. Uh, he had real pain. Danny England is a is a strong man, and. Schizo was definitely showing oh, pain. The problem with Schizo is he does like pain. Yeah, he does like pain, and so does Danny. That's why this match is crazy. Oh, goodness! Look, Danny that goes down. Danny vicious. goes down. Listen, the problem is, Danny's probably sitting there doing the exact same thing that Schizo did, thinking this is fun. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, this is just one of those things that I don't understand. Now, Schizo's, the Schizo's right taking now. a break. I don't like this. I don't like this. It gives your opponent time to take a rest. And Danny's, oh. I don't, I don't think he got him all the way there. Oh. I don't think he got one, him all the way. Two, and yeah, he didn't out. get him. He, one hand cover. You're not going to get anybody with that. No. Come on, Schizo. Now, there he oh, goes. Now he's goodness. throwing. Look, as you see, throwing forearms, not closed fists. I know. I see. And now he's trying to pin him, but the ref's trying to accuse him of choking. I say he's choking. What? It looked like he had his hands on his shoulders. That was choking. But I mean, whatever you want to say. Bad angle from the camera, then. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sure. Anyway, man. And Danny Angle is still in a bad position, though. I mean, no, I haven't seen much offense from Danny that much no, right now. It's because you were too busy talking. I mean, yeah, but still. He's had his offense. Schizo's had his offense. Schizo is having more power in his offense. So far. But it's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's 400 pounds. you got to understand, it's a 400-pound monster. Now, Schizo, oh, That was a gosh. beautiful clothesline right there. That, that had the freaking, that, that had the yeah. ball out of And now he's right setting Jeffrey LaRoque over to the corner. I guess he doesn't want Jeffrey in his way when he does whatever he's about to do. Oh, gosh. oh no, Animal had to talk to him. Oh, what? It's Animal distracting what? the ref. Oh, what the heck happened? I didn't, I don't know what happened to his leg. What? Oh, my gosh. So I he just pulled on his leg, of course. No. Especially somebody from Randy here. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, wow. Got him. Okay, I see what He's happened now. Wow. I'm pretty glad the camera was out of the way on that one. Yeah. You have no clue. Did you, like, hit him with something? What, you're accusing me of hitting with the camera? I think you probably did hit him with something. Oh, uh, yeah, well... I mean, I do have to wrestle at the next event. Oh my gosh, you probably did something. It's oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, fess up to it. I nailed him in the kneecap with that freaking kendo stick. Well, you are you are just a terrible person. I hey, swear. ref didn't see it. Wow, and wow, okay, look at this. Wow, that's that. Now Danny's out cold with the pain. Oh my gosh. And now it's time for me to. No, so what wrestle. are you? Why are you attacking him now? Because I got a wrestler tonight. Oh, that's not right, though. A you week know. and a half. This was filmed a week and a half ago, oh my knowing gosh. I had to wrestle him tonight. And oh watch this. goodness. Mm -hmm. This goodness is just right. disgusting, Romano. I don't know why you're now, doing this. Now, I'm going to break that leg. Ahead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Someone needs to help Yeah, him. Jeffrey I'm, tried I'm, to help him. Someone needs to help oh, this but man. But apparently, uh, somebody was going to come and help him, but... You know, and this is what's funny is I was accused. Listen, I want you to Why is Animal? <laughs> Dude, come on, oh, man. This Animal is just ridiculous. making sure that I'm all right. This he's is just, ridiculous. He's just asking me if I'm okay. What are you talking Adding about? more pressure to his leg. I'm just so bad. <laughs> is that a belt, too? Or, 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 okay, I thought he had like a belt. My bad. Well, it is a belt, but. A belt. And that's Schizo has it. Oh, man. And look, I thought you got him with the belt, too. I, now, was like, I don't know why Bobby Eagle had to stick his nose in our business, but he did. And then, of course, 
Draven had to stick his nose in our business. Now, as he I, should. As you understand, both me and Animal were out here the whole time doing commentary. I hope he's, so, I hope he's okay. So, so I, would you shut up for a minute? I was accused of attacking Lionheart and J.L. Watson before we attacked him. But yet we were doing the commentary at this time. And like I tried telling J Draven Post, there's no way on earth we could have attacked him. You understand? Yeah. So, with that being said, who is the one that attacked him? That's the question. Okay. Uh, We're going to go ahead and get out of here, but see you next week on another edition of RCW Global.